Smile and be your gorgeous self. Don't you think you're rushing things, uh, throwing a party for this new idea already? It's just a presser, a teaser to announce Bella. No focus groups, no research, no input from anyone but yourselves on this little dime store perfume, and you're already holding a presser to announce the name? Yeah. This is going to be an expensive lesson for you. Oh, and uh, make sure tonight's rental charges for confusion go on the Bella expense account. Of course. You are coming, aren't you? Of course, I wouldn't miss it. This may be your multi-million dollar crapshoot, but it's still my company. Well, it's a pretty good turnout for a last minute event. Of course it is, it's fusion. Just don't embarrass us by disappointing them. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late, minor crisis at home. Kendall? Well, if it isn't Miss Bella herself. I was just telling Amanda, I hope you have all of your bases covered. Holding a press party for a half-baked idea is pretty reckless. Could end up giving our company a black eye. I think we've done a hell of a job in a short amount of time. Or SVPs? About 90%. The presentation is ready to go. All we need to do is drop in the photo. Perfect. Where's Miss I quit my job and now I want it back? She's dealing with more important things today. She left Ryan last night. She and Emma are going to be staying at the mansion until she can figure out what to do. Another relationship bites the dust. There must be something in the water around here. The art department just got finished with Bella's artwork. Oh, great. Let's take a look. Uh, yeah. Hey, listen. All right, so the art department came up with an alternate pick to you, so... so we kind of have to decide. But we only sent the one picture down there. Where did they get another one? Yeah, well, the, the guys just kind of whipped something up and uh, sort of thought we should have a choice. All right, let's 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 take a look. All right. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that, that turned out really cute. I, I don't look terrible. All right, let's, let's see the other one. I'm sure the boys love the way you're spilling out of that dress, too, but our target buyers aren't horny ad copy guys. I thought it was a damn good picture of me. It is a good picture, but the perfume is named after me. Well, I'm paying for it. What do you think? Oh, oh no. See, I may be new around here, but I'm smart enough to know I'm not choosing sides. I think they're both hot. Kendall? Hmm? What photo do you think we should go with for the announcement? You know what? This is your baby, so I think you two should make the decision. Hi. Hi. As a matter of a fact, why don't we ask my beautiful mother? Ask me what? Well, Babe and Amanda have come up with a new fragrance, and they're trying to decide the ad photo. Well, uh, exactly what is it you're selling? I mean, who exactly is your target audience? Well, the name is Bella, and it's targeted to the less affluent woman who wants a luxury price scent but can't afford to spend the money that our upper end products cost. And the woman who doesn't want to go to the select boutique department stores to find it. It would have a more widespread distribution. Widespread distribution. Cheap and easy. Tough call, but I'd say I'd have to go with Babe at that point. You know, uh, Mom, I'd hate to go against your instincts, but I think um, part of the appeal for perfume is how it will attract men. Now, I think if we take that photo of Amanda and put it outside on an easel, guys will be all over it like fruit flies on a rotten peach. Ready for lunch? Absolutely. Okay. Toodles. I see what you mean about things getting out of control at work. Yeah, big mistake. Hey, darling, we're gonna have two for lunch. But anyway, Greenlee insisted on letting them run with it. Well, when Bella crashes and burns, you will have taught your employees a very important lesson. Leave the big ideas to the people who made the company a success in the first place. What is it? Well, you know what? I have got to get my priorities in order. 
On the one hand, it's driving me crazy that I have to let Babe and Amanda do this whole campaign. I've ended up twiddling my thumbs at work, just waiting for the whole Bella thing to implode. Mm -hmm. But then, on the other hand, I couldn't even go away and spend some alone time with Zach just for a few days. And he was not happy with me. Did you fight about it? No, not really. He just sort of shut down on me. He does that sometimes. Well, I mean, if Zach thought that you needed time alone together, I'm sure he had his reasons. Well, he knows me. He'll get over it. No, Kendall, don't blow it off like that. Really, do not dismiss it. Men don't wear their hearts on their sleeves. I mean, if, if you want to get something out of them, it's like pulling teeth. And if something's eating at them, I mean, you won't even know it unless you can get them to open up. And if you don't, I mean, they might just run off and do something crazy. For example, you might just wake up one morning and find your husband in bed with Carmen. Jackson Thank you. and Carmen? Really? Who knows what happened? So, how do you feel about that? Me? Well, they're adults. I mean, Jackson and I are divorced. It doesn't bother me. It surprises me, yes, but it doesn't bother me. Uh-huh. All right, maybe it does. Just a little. But after everything Jack and I have been to each other, I don't think that's anything but natural. Mom, tell me how you really feel. I mean, do you want Jackson back? Or is it Samuel that you want? Of course. You want them both. That's silly. No, no, it isn't. Not for you. But come on, Mom, you have to say that's not gonna work. Jack is not gonna wait around while you have some fling with a handsome potential senator. No, look, I don't expect Jackson to do anything except what makes him happy. Well, that's good. But if you don't want to see him be with somebody permanently, then you've got to let him know how you really feel. Let him know that you still love him. Look, I, I appreciate the advice, I really do, but I, I don't still want Jack. I'm not jealous of Carmen. Whatever happened, it's not gonna last. I don't know. Carmen's turned out to be a pretty interesting woman. And she seems to be handling Adam Chandler just fine. Oh, Adam Chandler. Adam Chandler is just plain annoying. And he's getting more annoying by the day. Why? What has he done to you? Believe me, you don't want to know. Adam Chandler has just been a colossal pain lately. What's he done? Oh, delighting and sticking his nose in other people's business where it doesn't belong. I mean, even with Jackson and Carmen. Why does he even care? Well, he is professing that he and I were the, the greatest pair since Samson and Delilah. I mean, he's actually seriously trying to make me believe he's trying to seduce me again. You're kidding. No, I wish. I mean, he's just like some piss that won't go away. I love it. This is great. I love this. You, you know what you need to do? You call his bluff. Tell him that you think you should get married again. That would be lucky number three for you guys. Not funny. I wouldn't be with Adam Chandler again if he were the last man on Earth. And, and even then, I would explore alternative life forms on other planets. No, for some reason, Adam Chandler has decided that he likes to torment me. Well, if he keeps it up, he's going to find himself on the business end of the wrath of Erica Kane.